Hey guys, Desolator Magic here with the Desolator News Network, and you know I can't possibly not cover this one. I actually wanted to cover it on a different channel, but um, I want this to get views. I really should put this on my second channel. I don't know. I guess we'll we'll find out where it ends up. But um, Facebook is down, and most of the stuff they own is down. Everybody's saying it's a DNS problem. It's not. Uh, DNS is failing because BGP is completely broken, and all the peering routers have had their uh, Facebook, uh, what do you call it, uh, records deleted. So. The best way I can describe it is the entire internet doesn't know where Facebook is because all the peering routers that said, here it is, I know where it is, I know where that network is, uh, they just had all the records deleted. So on accident or on purpose? That is the question. And I'm not going to answer it because, well, I guess I will answer it. We don't know. Nobody knows. And we're probably never going to know the truth. Unless somebody comes out and says, hi, I did it. And even then, I mean, people take you know credit for shit they didn't do all the time. If it was a security vulnerability or it was like an internal thing with an employee, Facebook is never going to admit it. They're going to say, oh, configuration glitch, which a lot of employees and a lot of Facebook, you know, PR crap is saying, yeah, configuration issue. We're working on it. Oops. And then you got people on the internet saying, oh, this is the best cyber attack ever. So both are jumping to conclusions or both are knowingly misrepresenting the truth because we don't know. I mean, somebody in the world probably knows one individual or more was responsible for this, whether it was an accident or not. But I did want to break down just the super high level technical reasons for why this is happening. Cause I had to read like five different articles to just get almost the gist of it. And they're all getting it wrong. So thus this video. So why Facebook brokey? Well, first you got DNS, which is domain name service. You got grandma's cookie recipes.com and it actually resides on a server where it's internet address is, you know, 101.23.46. Some other number, but people don't want to type that to connect to your server. So you got this you know, cutesy little nickname system where they just type in whatever you register. And then, you know, for 12 bucks a year, you can uh, point a domain name at a location. And then when people type in grandma's cookie recipe.com, they go to 101. whatever wherever your server is and start serving up data. So that's great, but how does the internet know where IP addresses are and how do they know where large networks connect to each other? Well, we got this wonderful thing called BGP and peering routers. BGP is a level four protocol. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know it went to level four. But um, yeah, that's some high level stuff. It's basically like a really large network has a BGP router or probably more than one. It's a peering router. And then you connect to some other really large networks, you know, BGP router, like an entire country, an entire company, a hosting company, like Google, Amazon, you know, they all, all have their own networks, you know, multiple, obviously. And how do you really efficiently sort traffic and kind of load balance and just like say, hey, I'm here on the internet so that you don't just blindly ask 10,000 different servers. Hey, where, where is this? I want to connect to Facebook. Where is it? And then you get 999 I don't knows, and then finally you hit one where, which knows where it is. So the peering routers are supposed to speed that up. So like Facebook will have a couple peering routers, I guess, and then like Google will have a couple, and then like the country of Sweden will have a couple, and then Australia will have a couple on the end of their fiber lines under the ocean. By the way, I'm not 100% sure that I'm accurately portraying this because, like I said, not my job. I have two IT degrees, and I don't know how this shit works. I only have a basic overview of, oh, yeah, I've heard of that thing, and it was on a test once. Well, that's the end of my usefulness. I'm not going to use BGP configuration and peering router configuration tables in my daily life because I don't own a multi-billion dollar company. And even then, like like 99% of Facebook IT workers would not know what any of this is or how it works. I think I might have mentioned that already. Because it's not their job. It's like one dude who sets it up one time and then you're good. Because the internet just works. Well, the internet doesn't just work when uh, Facebook gets their BGP records deleted from every single relevant peering router. So, well, the rest of the internet now does not know where Facebook is. They don't know where their network is. Because all the peering routers that say, hey, it's right here have had the records deleted. Now you ask Facebook, they'll say, oh, misconfiguration, it's a glitch, oops, Monday mistake, sort of. I mean, they're being as vague as possible or saying nothing, but certain employees have come out to say things and then strangely deleted their accounts or had their accounts deleted, that was weird. And then the entire rest of the internet is like, ha ha, funny cyber attack, Facebook had it coming because they're awful and they try to influence elections and rig everything and brainwash people and they're, they're awful. They are absolutely awful. I 100% agree, but anybody saying 100% this was a cyber attack or a sabotage from somebody inside the company, well, do you have evidence of that? No. And then Facebook saying, oh, it was just a misconfiguration, oops, Monday mistake, fat fingers, ha ha ha. Do we have evidence of that? No. So the correct answer is, we don't know, and we probably never will. Even if somebody comes up and says, I did it to teach Facebook a lesson, well, how are you going to prove it? 
A lot of people take credit for shit they didn't do all the time. It's, it's in the news constantly. But uh, then we got the idiotic conspiracy theories, which, I mean, I'd believe anything in 2021. There's a lot of angry people with a lot of power and influence. But uh, what was that new? That, that, that It's like Panama Papers on steroids. Oh, the Pandora Papers or whatever. Oh, they're all supposed to be released, what, today? And then Facebook goes down at the same time. Yeah, I can see people connecting the dots. It's just, oh, what? You're going to take down the entire internet permanently and, and, what, all of television and news to hide one story? Yeah, that's the most efficient way to do it. And also, oops, only Facebook was taken down. What about Twitter? What And plus, they'd help hide this shit. They they are the millionaires and all the people hiding stuff. And I mean, Facebook, Apple, all of them, they're, aren't they like Irish companies who don't pay any taxes? Like, yeah, they're in the damn league. Oh, gee, I wonder if they took themselves down. No, when they control the narrative, they can delete anything anybody says and censor anything. And they're all colluding together with Twitter and with the media. I mean, are you kidding me? You think they just nuked themselves? Have you seen Facebook stock price? No, they didn't do this to themselves on purpose to suppress a freaking news story. Like, are you actually kidding me? I mean, they suppressed the Hunter Biden laptop thing and that literally influenced the entire election. Flipped it, the whole thing. We've seen polls after the fact with dumbass low information, stupid Democrat morons who said in overwhelming majority numbers, if I knew about that story, if I had heard about that story on the news or on Facebook or on social media, I would not have voted for Joe Biden. And it was like, 70% said that. It would have been an overwhelming almost 50 state sweep for Trump. So Facebook and Twitter colluded and changed the result of an election. You think that they're going to be like, oh no, big scary news story. Let's take ourselves down. No. What I find most plausible? Well, there's a lot of Facebook insiders who are pissed off at their politics and how they're ruining the world and ruining society and ruining entire countries, ruining governments and allowing like islamic extremist terrorists to have accounts on twitter and shit like they are mismanaging everything they have gone so far left they don't even know which way is up anymore and a lot of people are saying this is my breaking point i'm gonna do something about it most of them leak information they leak that a hack happened before facebook can brush it under the rug or they sabotage their giant it system or they go to like project veritas and say, here, here's some screenshots, here's some leaked training materials, here's, you know, some leaked statements from upper management saying, yeah, we delete conservative posts, ha ha ha, funny, yay, woo. My whole job in life is to not let Trump get elected. Like, literally, somebody said almost that exact phrase verbatim, and they're one of the head moderators for content moderation at Facebook. Subscribe to Project Veritas. So do I think it was an insider? Absolutely. Who the hell else has access like this? And it's a little too specific for it to be like an oopsie, oops, we just... We're updating our BGP records like network wide and we made a typo, which the, what I'm seeing is it's about 50 lines of typos that oops went missing from all routers simultaneously. Come on this. Come on, people. This was either an attack or it was a it was a sabotage by a very high level IT person at Facebook. And in my opinion, they absolutely deserve it. And any damage that can be done to their company, the better. Not that I'm encouraging activities like this because it's illegal. I mean, what I want to encourage is just stop f***ing using Facebook. Or if you have to use it for work or your family or whatever, do what I do. Use a fake name, put in a bunch of fake information about where you went to college and all this other bullshit. Use a VPN to, to access it. They don't know shit about me. I use like a third-party tracking, cookie blocking, browser script blockers, ad blockers, all this stuff. They don't know who I am. They don't know what I'm interested in. And I can verify that just based on the ads they show me. I mean, yeah, I'm obviously friends with my entire family. It's not that hard to, to narrow down, but like... It's all AI, okay? These aren't, like, humans trying to track me down or something. It's, just, it's very low effort. If 1% of people slips through the crack, they don't care because 99% of dumb boomer Karens on Facebook don't protect anything and just will tell them their favorite flavor of ice cream, let alone where they went to work 30 years ago. So, like, yeah, I'm on, you know, Marketplace selling shit. That's a big part of my business. Great. I don't really give Facebook anything. I don't click on the ads. I don't pay them for advertising. I, I actually cost them money. Yeah, Twitter, I deleted my Twitter account, and honestly, I hope Jack Dorsey steps out of his house this morning and gets struck by lightning. That would be wonderful. That would be a great improvement to mankind as a whole. That guy is pure, pure evil. I'd say the same about Zuckerberg. So to me, this whole thing is absolutely hilarious. Um, it absolutely stinks of very targeted sabotage, a very targeted, uh, you know, attack, and... Um, the funny thing is Facebook employees are already saying like what needs to be done to fix it and how they're having problems with it. Uh, I guess the, the, without getting back into technical stuff, the BGP peering routers are not on site. They're all over the place and they don't have physical access to it. And the people who do have physical access to it don't know what the hell they're doing and don't know how to fix it because they're just server maintenance and salespeople. 
and like security guards. I mean, have you ever seen like the staff at a giant data security warehouse? It's like three people. And none of them know shit about IT. They just brought in somebody to design it, and then it just sits there. And then, like, maybe one engineer is kind of there or can remote in or something. So Facebook can't fix it because BGP is pretty much like a hands-off, you know, just internet protocol, high-level, whatever. It's not like Facebook is like, oh, here's our five BGP routers. Now, they're all over the place, and they probably don't even own them. You know, they just, like, rent them or whatever. I mean, I don't pretend to know exactly how it works, but I know that that's generally how it works. So this is going to be days to fix at worst. If it's even fixed today, I'll be kind of surprised. And um, yeah, any amount of money they can lose permanently, not temporarily, on their stock price is good because Facebook needs to go away. They need to be split up, but they never will because the Democrats are in charge and they use them to um, influence elections. I want to use a different word, but I mean, they are influencing how human beings vote. So yeah, that is influencing, not a different word, but it's through lies and misinformation. People are just that lazy and stupid, but yeah, democratic uh, uh, voters are historically through any metric you could possibly measure it. Low information morons. They know the least about the country, about politics, about anything. They literally have lower IQs and that's, and then now, now we've got Biden and Pelosi. So there you go. And by that, I mean Pelosi because Kamala and Biden are not running shit. So someone is currently running the U S government that we can't impeach and we don't fully know who it is. Hmm. Is that concerning to anybody? Can't wait for the midterms, everyone. Vote accordingly. Don't vote for the lying tyrants just because I don't like the other ones because they're mean to gay people and like guns. Get a f***ing clue and vote for the one that's not trying to take over the world and brainwash everybody. So hopefully Facebook stays down until the next election. But remember, they could only suppress so much. Just start spelling shit differently, swapping out characters. I mean, use foreign, you know, like the, like the symbol for X instead of letter X and shit. Their AI is too stupid to catch half that shit. I do that all the time on Facebook. Like, I think Project Veritas was banned from Facebook along with a, another couple, you know, non-lunatic actual, you know, places who uh, report the truth and, like, let people know about real shit that's really happening instead of trying to cover it up and influence people's political decisions but then they just have a million people link into a million different relays with a million different like bitly links that all leak you know link there and they don't have enough manpower or ai to catch it all so if you just brute force it hard enough people on facebook start hearing the truth so it's not oh let's all get off twitter and facebook and let it be a liberal shithole you know just cesspool of lies and propaganda and brainwashed nonsense and low information morons who think they're smart no stay on there and constantly expose the truth to people who don't want to hear it, okay? Hard to do. Don't be a dick. Just be like, this is interesting. Look at this. Maybe you'd be interested in hearing this side of the story instead of just, I hate you, you're wrong, rawr, because then you're blocked, you're unfriended, and, well, now you're just talking to your own people and doing nothing. You're wasting your time. You're wasting their time. You know how they're all going to vote. And I'm saying that because, uh, you know, oh, hopefully Facebook stays down until the next election. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So get on there and fix shit. Okay, start telling the truth. Spread the truth everywhere. Get on Reddit. Spread the truth. Get on Facebook. Spread the truth. If enough people would have gotten loud enough about Hunter Biden's crack cocaine fueled laptop losses, which it's now plural. He lost multiple and all his dealings in China and all this shit. The election would have went a different way. But no, everybody's like, oh, they're bullying me. And they're, they, I don't want to get my account deleted because I play f poker on Facebook and I use marketplace. Grow up and do something. Look where we are now. Look, what, look at the economy. Look at the hyper control of the government. This is your fault. Go door to door if you have to before the next election. We need to fix this shit. We need to fix it permanently. And if you like what you hear, you might want to consider subscribing. But if you don't like what you hear on this channel, then you definitely need to subscribe. Because you're a misinformed idiot. So I'll see you guys next video.